Press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another update. With the model code of conduct expected to kick in very soon as elections are expected to be announced by the end of this week, the next few days will see the last burst of official activity from Prime Minister Narendra Modi, where he will launch several development projects as he has been doing over the last few months. We do know that the Prime Minister has followed this format of combining his official events with public rallies, events where he launches government projects with public rallies and that is precisely what will happen over the next few days. Let's take a look at what is expected. On Wednesday, which is today, the Prime Minister will visit Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. In both these states, he will hold public rallies. However, these are not just political events. There will also be official work done by the PM. For instance, in Karnataka, the PM will formally inaugurate a super speciality hospital in Hubli via video conferencing. In Tamil Nadu as well, there would be several development projects that would be announced, that would be launched. Besides, of course, the big NDA rally that is expected along with BJP allies in the state. On the 8th is the big day for Uttar Pradesh as far as the BJP is concerned. We know the state is extremely crucial. It sends out 80 Lok Sabha MPs and the BJP is doing everything it can to minimize whatever losses it is expecting in this state. Thus, on 8th, the PM is expected to go to three different regions of Uttar Pradesh. Varanasi, which is the PM's constituency. Ghaziabad as well as Kanpur, which is in the centre of the state. What is expected in each of these? Well, in Varanasi, the PM will do the groundbreaking ceremony of the Kashi Vishwanath Corridor. Uh, in Ghaziabad, he will lay the foundation stone for the regional rapid transit system which connects Delhi with Ghaziabad and Meerut. And in Kanpur, he will launch in infrastructure as well as industrial projects of over rupees 60,000 crore, besides, of course, holding public rallies and addressing people in all these three regions. So es essentially, this is the last burst of activity from the Prime Minister, last burst of announcement of government projects, because we know once the model of code of conduct kicks in, the government or its representatives cannot make any new decisions or announce new projects, at least in the ordinary course. Do keep following the print and track us on YouTube for much more. For the print, this is Ruhi Tiwari.